everyone welcome or welcome back to life of wonders as you know this is polo and i love making videos of dolls always in disney collectibles and as always if you like this kind of content and you feel like supporting the channel then you already know what to do today i wanted to talk about the upcoming release of the neon fright dracula doll we already have um high resolution pictures of the whole thing thanks to you love it.com uh, which is where i got the pictures but also thanks to our yuri 06 on instagram so i thought i would just start talking about it because i'm very very excited about this new release of the series three of ultimate secrets so Draculaura might be my least favorite from the bunch but that is because the other ones are just so good that doesn't mean that this Draculaura isn't um good um it's just that compared to the hype to the other characters to me at least it feels that way but i have to say that i like her quite a lot um so we can see um her through like a picture of the promotional pictures a picture that have been taken to uh of the promotional pictures and then pictures of the actual doll and i think she will have saran her or nylon her because i don't find any reason for it to be poly if I'm honest, like with these colors, like in black and deep um, pink, that I don't know, I really hope. For once, I like that she's not having the, you know, bangs that she's usually sporting all of the time. And this time around, we find an interesting makeup for her, having yellow and pink for the eyes, and then like lavender purplish color for the lips um which might be a little bit weird like the whole combination of it but i have to say that the base doll is very pretty at least in my opinion and i love <clears throat> sorry about my <laughs> voice it's just that um it's very hot and i've been uh you know um using the air conditioning and um these are the effects of that um but i hope it gets better so anyway, um, we can see that, we can see the earrings, well by now I know that the three items that every single character will have consistently that will glow in the dark will be a necklace, the purse and the boots, the first uh, pair of boots uh, for each particular one. So. I don't think these earrings will uh, glow in the dark, they're like very bright yellow and they look okay i think they might have uh put them a little bit closer to the face i don't know they they feel like suspended in the air which i don't know um how i feel about then we can also see that as accessory pieces she will come with a laptop that is like you know um fully um well made for her with different stickers and the color of it it's going to change between characters so this is Draculaura's uh, laptop and then she will also come with a snack of like chocolate sticks uh, which is so cute um, and then we can see that I have the feeling at least that the hoodies um, will incorporate the sleeves all together and then underneath we'll find like a tank top sort of thing and the hoodie this time around I have to say I like it I love the meshes leaves I love the print that they've used on the under um, tank top and then this cat that I believe is part of the second outfit it's a weird combination of colors in my opinion and a weird combination of a pattern but I like that we're given something different so um, for once I think I kind of like it because otherwise it would be like every time the same sort of like predictable thing for uh, Draculaura um, and then the shoes that are going to be the extra shoes aside from the boots are really cute like with a ruffle platform and painted uh, little like ribbons uh, with bats and a heart um, through the stripes and um, 
and two little like um, laces or two little ribbons as well in pink on the front and so they're using like four different colors for these shoes and that is something I very much like. I also have to say that once you remove the plastic cover uh, you reveal the new lockers and I love the design of the new uh, locker and when it comes to the main door with the swirls and how this collect is um, fitted um, in the middle and and then obviously the paper box will have a different pattern this time they seem to have like a gradient of color effect and we can also see that um, Draculaura will come with a, well all of them will come with a harness uh, belt that will incorporate different elements that we associate with each different uh, character and this time around is pink with painted details in purple and we can see hearts and stuff and i like that then there is an extra um shirt or sleeveless uh shirt or tank top um that i like as well i don't think it's as original but I think it looks pretty cool. I love the first cat uh, that is black with two uh, yellow stripes. I know it's very simple, but it's like edgy and punk at the same time. So that is something I very much like. Then for the boots, the boots that glow in the dark won't have any additional color. And that is a pity in a way. But um, I think that the sculpt of every single uh, pair of shoes of boots is really nice so we can see in a close-up her face and i have to say that i love how the makeup especially for the eyes is applied um this time around i don't know i think she looks very cute and and then we can see them when she's wearing the hoodie this sleeves, uh, the sleeves have to be part of the hoodie on its own um and the hoodie will have like the little like vinyl um but ears or bat wings um, that we saw in you can see that it's like a translucent sort of like very flimsy um, vinyl material but it looks good enough um, and then the second outfit once again for the accessories we'll also find like a face massager um, a face mask that this time around is lavender in color the necklace will incorporate like a big heart and it's translucent as well as the little like heart um, that is going to be the back and both items will glow in the dark as i said i love the um, computer i even love the screening that you can get uh, when you open it and look uh, on the inside and um, yeah so this is like everything that we could see um, on the release for the next uh, Sculptimate Secrets Draculaura and I'm very excited about this series just in general but I thought I would share the details of these specific dolls um, this specific doll with all of you and I hope you've enjoyed going through the details and it's been um, somehow helpful to probably have into consideration before um, buying the doll. So if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, let me know what you think about this character, when you think, what you think about this um, series 3. Um, as always I will be more than happy to get back to all of you. For now stay safe and I'll see you all very very soon. Bye bye.